Hello my loves, welcome back to Zeke's lunchbox in a different location, we're in my sunroom just because the gardeners are here and it's very loud. Before we head into the vlog, I just want to let you guys know that I am having a sale on my shop, zekeslunchbox.com. When you use the code SUPERNOVA at checkout, you get 10% off international shipping and uh, yeah, that's going to run for a week. I just want to have a post SUPERNOVA celebration sale just because uh, so many of you guys have been so awesome and so patient with like the lack of content and uh, sliding into my DMs and wishing me well and I'm just really grateful to so many of you for doing that and everybody who popped in to say hi at Supernova thank you so much for doing that as well it was so awesome finally meeting so many of you and you're all incredibly lovely and warm and sweet and yeah just thank you so much for saying hi. So head over to my shop and grab some new stuff there are a couple of new goodies on there so yeah head over to zekeslunchbox.com okay Let's get into the vlog. Hello. <laughs> Hello my loves, welcome back to Zeke's Lunchbox. I guess over the next fortnight, I'm gonna take you on my supernova prep and then also supernova venture. If you guys remember last year, it was my first time at supernova and I've basically already done a lot of the prep for last year. So I'm just reusing a lot of the stuff and I've got a whole table to myself. You can watch that vlog in one of these corners, this one. I'll put it in the description as well. What I need to do over the next fortnight is go to order my new merch, fill out the store with some new prints. Basically, I'm sizing down my prints. Uh, it seems like everybody wants smaller things, which is totally fine for me. Uh, it makes shipping a lot more affordable and it's just easier to handle smaller prints. Also, I'm currently standing up because my studio buddy has taken the chair. I've got a bunch of loose stickers, but I wanted to make them pack so they're just like, really easy for people to digest and then they can just like instead of trying to you know make the decision of like picking this or that it's just like pack a or pack b <laughs> so yeah sorting merch figuring out my shop fittings and then signage and additional branding and stuff like that so yeah let's uh, go on this adventure by the way if you are new here make sure you subscribe to follow along with all my art adventures yeah i'll chat to you guys in the next couple of days. Morning everybody! So the floor plan has just been released. It's the 26th of Jan February. Oh, I never know what day it is. Thursday 27th, 27 of February. So because the floor plan has been released, that's like kicked my bum into gear. I'm waiting for my small prints to come in by small they're relatively small for me. I know with Supernova, generally everything there is like printed tiny, like absolutely mini. So I'm working on my sticker packs now. I'm really wanting to move my my stickers a little bit more. So I'm putting them in this pack. So there's pack A. I have a bunch of these plastic slips just from over the years and I'm trying to like use them because they're just sitting around. So luckily this one fits. I was hoping it was going to fit portrait, but I actually think sitting, sitting landscape will help to see more of the stickers. So the way I'm going to display it is I'll have all of the stickers out of the pack as well as in the pack so people can see what is exactly in there. And then my other sticker pack, uh, I made this sticker sheet up a long time ago. I've been putting it off because there was a point in time where it's like, I just want to find like the cheapest possible stickers that I can. So I printed off these sheets with my printer and um, I've just been putting off putting them on my shop because <laughs> I have to manually cut them all out and that's like, not work that I want to do and it's also this isn't a scalable thing for me to accomplish but you know what they're printed I'm gonna try and sell them as much as possible and then I'm never going to go back to these ever again not a mistake in like the quality or anything it's just more a mistake on like what I need to prioritize in my business me hand cutting out stickers is not a scalable business plan anyway you can lead a horse to water but you can't make it drink you know like I knew this but I have to make my own mistakes to like really really know it anyway i'm going to package these i'm gonna start cutting them up i'm gonna focus on this packet now because the thought of cutting these right now is like no i just can't so yeah i'm gonna do that now everyone 
I'm gonna go pick up my my test prints. Wait, I forget what they're called. Oh, my proofs. <laughs> I'm a professional artist. I'm gonna check out my print proofs today because I have to. My printer is quite far away, so I have to drive about 30 minutes over there and hopefully all my prints will be sorted and then that'll be a big relief off my chest. Um, I did wake up feeling like a little stressed and underprepared, so hopefully by the end of today, I feel a little bit more calm. Head west on Dawn Street towards Stanton Street, then turn left onto Stanton Street. Okay, thank you. And then I might pop into I Ikea, I'm not sure yet. Not essential, but I'm just doing prints today. One task at a time. Okay, everyone, I am back from Ikea. Studio is starting to be a little bit of a mess. I'm just so unsure about what I'm doing, what like the next step is. I just need to break it down and just go like one step at a time. So for today, what I'm going to do, oh, by the way, I got these crates from Ikea because I'll be stacking them and I'm mostly trying to get as much height as possible for the con. So that's why I got the crate so I can build things up. So everything's at like eye level. But for right now, I'm gonna pack away my table because what I need to work on is all the small stuff. So the sticker packs and the pin packs having them on a big frame and then I'm going to put some backing over it and like try and have it as like neatly displayed as possible. People are really scared to touch things as well so I kind of need everything on display with prices and it's um it's a harder task than you think especially when you have like quite a small setup so I'm just trying to think of ways of how to like make everything look really full but not overwhelming so it's a hard balance another thing another little battle i've been having let me just rest you because my arm is getting tired ah! <sighs> i'm trying to figure out exactly what color i want all the frames that i'm going to have on display black frames usually people find that a lot more relatable and my art already is really scary <laughs> to a lot of people because it has a lot of color so the average person they look at it and they're like oh i can never have that in my home that's like too bright too colorful um it won't go with anything i have so i'm torn because i want to have white frames i mean i really want to have pink frames here's an example of a pink frame <sighs> Pink frames are out of the question because I'm trying to like not scare people. I think white frames would be a lot nicer with my whole setup and like aesthetically everything would look really cohesive if like all the framings and boxes were just white and pink. Yeah, I think just black will also contain things a lot more and make it a little bit more legible. I showed you making the sticker packs got a little stack of these stickers because I have to hand cut these I don't have that many I've got a little like kit with me so if it ever gets quiet uh, at the con I can just cut those out I've got another stack of stickers here ready to go so that's what I did yesterday <sighs> all right <laughs> everyone I've just been attempting to figure out 
what my table is going to look like. I'm really, really glad I'm doing like a mock-up now because I think on the day it would have just been way too stressful. This is what I've got so far, but, and uh, I had another option. I will pop it up on screen here. That just looked way too complicated with all the angles. And I still think this is not heroing the prints enough. And I do want to make sure that my prints are really accessible, but also all on display. I think I need to move this middle thing to the side. So it's basically like, if you're somebody who's gonna buy small stuff, you go to one side. And then if you're interested in prints, you go to the other side side and that way they're like all on display and if you're just thinking about prints you can just think about the prints if you're just thinking about small stuff vice versa yada yada so I'm gonna do that now and I'll check in with you guys soon so I've been looking at my list and just taking on like what I can do and what's possible what's even worth my effort I've been weighing up a couple of things we look a little bit wonky let's unwonk ourselves a couple days ago I think I mentioned like I was so lost as to like what color I'm gonna paint my frames and all the pink things here and there in my shot fitting and um the mental load that it's been taking on me is just seriously not worth my time I also just don't want to drive out to the hardware store and get like primer I've got pink paint already and just like I just can't be bothered thinking about it anymore so I'm vetoing this whole activity and just not doing it when I set up everything like look obviously there's always tweaks that could be made but I'm making the decision to like not even think about it anymore because it's really not worth my time when it comes to doing cons I'm really trying very hard not to put too much effort because one it's just too much of a mental load and then two I think putting in all of my eggs in one basket and putting like all of this time and emotional effort into a con is really not worth it on the day or while I'm at the con for the weekend because you just build it up and you're working so hard on it and I just I've found in the past when I put in all of that effort it's like I really didn't need to do all of that and stress myself out so I'm really trying to like negate all of that and like cut back a lot of the work that being said I <laughs> <laughs> Me and printing, like, I swear printing is one of my least favorite activities. I just don't understand how I keep screwing it up. Often when I'm making things to print, I'm just like so stressed and overthinking it. And then like, I don't proofread it or I'm not like, I need to step back and like think about it a little bit more. But anyway, I made my prices. I don't know if you can tell. First of all, the some of the information is completely wrong. Also, if you can't read it from there, like it's too small and also too complicated. So then I changed it to this. I think this formatting, so basically, it has my my prices and then also like the deal that you can get again some of them are wrong because I can't math <laughs> seriously not being able to math is like such a stressor on my life like trying to do basic math and just nothing is happening in my brain <laughs> it's so embarrassing but anyway I like the formatting of this a lot more I think it's just when people are shopping, you don't want to take in too much information. You just want to be spoon fed. So that's really my biggest goal is to like eradicate any confusion to a buyer. Some of the information on this is too confusing. I'm going to keep the formatting, but I think I just need to do like, what is it? Like an A4 print is 20 bucks by three, four fifty. you know? So you, you can easily do the math. You're like saving $10 there. So the third time I need to edit these and print them off again. Fine, whatever. But but also what I need to do is I'm going to make some, I've got a couple of customer pictures of people wearing pins, yada yada. So what I'm going to do now is make like fake Polaroids and just print them off on paper and have a couple of the like fake Polaroids around market set up just so like when you have that social proof that it is out in the wild and you see other people wearing it it does like you know in your brain you're like oh you just trust that brand a little bit more so I'm hoping that helps to convince a couple of buyers can you tell my coffee has really really sunk in I'm gonna do that and uh then I'm gonna pack a bunch of prints which is really laborious we'll check in with you when I am packing prints <laughs> All right, everyone. So I've just been packing up some prints. I will show you the stack that I made. This fat stack over here is what I've just been working on. I'm just making a pile of a couple of sail prints. I'm phasing out all of the odd shaped prints. So basically if it's not A4 or A4, 
three. <laughs> I'm phasing that out just because for simplicity and just for making things a lot easier in my shop, I just think making it A3 and A4 is a lot easier. And if it's more simple for me, it means it's a lot more simple for buyers to understand like how big a print is and how they can frame it. I would very much like to get rid of all the odd shaped prints. And then after that, I might have like a seconds sale because I did print a couple of pieces that didn't come out very well but they're still perfectly fine and I've just got a fat stack of those prints that I'm just really not sure what to do with. I'm also still waiting for my A4 prints to come so hopefully they come tomorrow and then we'll continue the packing process. I'm gonna continue and then I'm almost done and then I have to pick up my groceries. <laughs> okay. Hello everyone! A weird angle, I know. I just want to show you the A4 prints have finally all come in, so I'm about to stamp and sign and pack them all. And then I think I'm done. Uh, I'm in the same outfit as I've been wearing for literally the last week. You know, that's how it goes. Some updates. I walked into a drill and then the drill tipped over a brick in my room <laughs> and hit my ankle. I really thought I broke it for a second because it hurt that badly. I put some frozen peas on it straight away and it basically didn't swell up because of that. So, phew. Can you imagine that would be an actual nightmare? Yeah, just packing the car and like setting up today. So it's a really chill day. The only stressor right now is I decided to wipe my phone and it's all backed up. Don't worry. Decided to wipe my phone because I needed my PayPal card reader. Like it, an update needed to occur and my phone wasn't updating. So I wiped it, but um, I wiped it a little bit too hard and it won't restart. So I don't have a phone which is so great and was a massive stressor to me last night. It was like, what am I gonna do without a phone? Anyway, it was so annoying. Mercury has to be in retrograde right now, right? Because technology is on another level of annoying right now. I have to pick up my last round of prints of the price signs. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll be back in a second. All right, heading out. I don't have anything to hold this camera, so just imagine me driving there. All right, hello everyone. I am done setting up. I totally forgot to bring the camera. I'm so, so sorry. I will take you along tomorrow. I feel like let's leave it for a more dramatic reveal when it's all set up and I'm actually wearing decent clothes. But yep, yeah, I'm done for the day. It's 10 to 4. I'm done. I'm I'm ready for a beer, to be quite honest. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It's day one of Supernova. I don't know when I'm going to be able to shoot my look because I get too overwhelmed to vlog, but I'll bring you guys along, obviously. I just don't know how chatty I can get, but I just want to show you my makeup look because it's very, very rare for me to wear proper makeup. So yep, let's go. opened up just yet this is the space as you can see I am in a sea of black which is usually my deal to be quite honest Mel and I uh, are the color freaks here and also we've got a lot of height so height I just knew like we would poke out be like a moth to a flame hopefully so I'm all set up ready to go and uh, yeah I'm just happy it's all set up five four three two one. Woo! All right, guys, it's all happening. And then I've also got got Mel and Liz over there YouTubing as well. But you know, we all got to multitask. You know, <laughs> I'm crashing their interview. Uh, just FYI, I've got my own little stool over there just because I'm so short that I need to be able to stand a little bit taller and see everybody. There they are. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, everybody, day one is done. There's Mel in the background. Hi, Mel. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Did you like day one? Okay. It, it was a day. <laughs> it was a day. My feet aren't as sore as I usually am, well, to be quite honest. we haven't really sat down yet, to be fair, so I think we're going to find out pretty shortly. Tonight. Yeah, yeah. There'll be... We're going to make noises like old people make noises. <laughs> that sounds really dirty. That? <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I'm actually really excited just to just be like, oh. <laughs> Anyway, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Hello, everyone. Okay, so day two is done. We are about to close up. So I just wanted to say goodbye and thank you so much for coming along to the ride. I'm going to pack down now. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Chat to you guys when I'm home. Hey everybody, that's it for me. It's been a couple of days since Supernova ended, but I had such an amazing time. I feel like I played the mind game right where I didn't have really high expectations. I kind of just, you know, wanted to have a really relaxed, non-stressful time and didn't put too much pressure on it. And I feel like because of that, I had a really nice, lovely time. And I think mostly because I had a lot of friends around this time around and so many of you guys popped in and that truly made such a big difference to me it's just so so lovely meeting you in person makes such a big difference having you guys be there and be so warm and lovely thanks to mel for making my con so awesome and being my con neighbor hope you guys liked the video uh, a bit of a longer one this time around uh, i know lots of people want longer vlogs because you like to have them on in the background i get it so remember i do have my supernova sale on zeke'slunchbox.com use codes supernova for 10 percent off at checkout that will be running for one week only yeah i will see you guys in the next video make sure you head over to my instagram to follow me in between uploads and also my twitter account if you want to support the channel and my art you can also head over to patreon.com slash zeke's lunchbox there we go i did it <laughs> okay guys i will uh, catch you in the next video bye <laughs>